How does a jellyfish sting? No big deal. Even Om Sum can sting. Oh, Om Sum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house mini needle like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. How can huh? parrots talk? Are you kidding me? Parrots can't talk. Huh? Oh, um, some. According to a research, parrots' brains have an additional structure called shells, or outer rings which surround those areas which control vocal learning. These shells are believed to help parrots to be really good at copying sounds, thus giving them the ability to talk like humans. Hmm. In addition to this, parrots are highly sociable animals. As they crave interaction as well as attention, they start mimicking us to become a part of our flock. Hmm. Why does soap make bubbles? No big deal. Om Sum's bubbles are the biggest. Oh, Om um, Sum. The answer lies in the chemistry of soap molecules. The two opposite ends of the soap molecules behave extremely differently. On one hand, there is an end known as the hydrophilic end. This end attracts water. While on the other hand, there is an end known as the hydrophobic end. This end repels water. Hmm. Now when we mix soap with water, these opposite ends of the soap molecules sandwich a thin layer of water between themselves. This basically leads to the creation of a thin film that contains a small amount of air. And this is what we call a bubble. Hmm. Why are sharks boneless? No big deal. Even Om Sum doesn't have bones. Oh, Om Sum. The skeleton of sharks is actually made of cartilage. Cartilage is the same stuff that our ears and nose are made up of. Now, cartilage is less dense than bones. Hence, it is much lighter making sharks weigh less and thus helping them stay afloat. Hmm. Also, as the cartilage is flexible, it gives shark the ability to swim quickly and catch its prey. Hmm. Finally, the skeleton made of cartilage heals faster than that made of bones. Hence, sharks are boneless. Hmm. Are huh? smartphones bad for our eyes? Don't worry. Just watch Om Sum on your smartphones. Oh, Om um, Sum. We hold smartphones too close to our eyes and also stare at them for prolonged periods. Hence, it puts strain on our eyes. Besides this, smartphone screens predominantly emit blue light. Now, our eyes are built to absorb the harmful ultraviolet rays coming from the sun, thus protecting the inner sensitive membrane called retina. Hmm. But our eyes are not good at absorbing blue light emitted by smartphones. Huh? Hence, the blue light hits the retina and produces toxic substances which slowly begin to damage the retina. Hence, long-term exposure to blue light from smartphones may affect our vision. Hmm. Why do we have different eye colors? No big deal. Om Sum's eyes are multicolored. Oh, Om Sum! The colored part of our eye is called iris. Iris contains a pigment called melanin. Melanin is of two types, phyomelanin and eumelanin. The color of our eyes is dependent on the amount and type of melanin produced. If we have more melanin with higher concentration of eumelanin, then we will have darker eye color, such as brown. However, if we have less melanin with higher concentration of phyomelanin, then we will probably have blue or green eyes. Mm. What is monkeypox? Simple. Monkey and pox make monkeypox. Oh, I'm um, some. Monkeypox was discovered in 1958 when an outbreak of pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970. Monkeypox virus is part of the same family of viruses as variola virus. The virus that causes smallpox. Huh? 
Its symptoms are similar to smallpox, but milder. Symptoms of monkeypox may include fever, headache, muscle aches, backache, chills, exhaustion, and a rash that looks like pimples or bristles. Also, monkeypox huh? is rarely fatal. Hmm. Do the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans mix? Absolutely not. I have told them not to. Oh. Aum sum. The answer is density. Density huh? is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Uh. Lesser the density, lighter will be the object. Hmm. The Atlantic Ocean contains much more salt, as a result of which it is much denser. On the other hand, the water in the Pacific Ocean is less salty, hence its density is much lower. Now, this difference in density due to salinity creates a kind of barrier called a halocline between the two oceans. As a result, both the oceans don't mix that easily. Hmm. Why do we have a belly button? Nah, Om Sum has just one button on his head. Oh, Om Sum! When a baby is growing inside a mother's womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. Can blind people dream? Not just blind people, even zombies can dream. Oh, I'm some. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. Hmm. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since huh? birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. How can some people predict rain? Simple, by calling the clouds. Oh, um, some. Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. <laughs> hmm. How do we puke? Simple, like this. Oh, um, some. Puking or vomiting is generally controlled by a part of the brain called area postrema. Now, when it instructs our stomach to purge, several things happen in our body. Firstly, huh? our teeth get coated with excess saliva to protect them from stomach acid. Our heart rate and breathing increases as we retch. Finally, the stomach and other abdominal muscles forcefully push the contents upwards and we puke. Hmm.